Well, 641, welcome back. This morning, we are talking about a national problem. It's child identity theft. We do all we can to protect our children. We shield them from strangers. We baby-proof our homes. And we monitor our kids' use of electronics. But do you think to protect your child's identity? Kids under the age of 18 are 35 to 51 percent more likely to be victims of identity theft than adults. That's according to the AARP. Now, the organization states that it is relatively simple to add a false name, age or address to a social security number. And it's not just a problem nationwide, but right here at home in North Dakota as well. Kelsey Pearson's daughter Murphy yes. is 18 months old. Show them how your chair works. <laughs> but you won't find any photos of her on social media. We've um, pretty much kept her off Facebook completely. Actually, we like announced that we were having our new baby on Facebook and she had a shirt on and we fully cropped out her full face and literally just put the shirt that she's going to be a big sister. Pearson has been careful about Facebook ever since her cousin's account was hacked. I kind of was like already iffy and then my cousin had a baby and right after she had her baby, somebody like hacked her Facebook and she couldn't get it back and so then like that was my final decision. I'm like, I don't want anyone to have my baby's <laughs> pictures that I can't get back. And so that Facebook profile is still out there. It's a foreign name and her baby's pictures are still all over it. She's safeguarding her daughter against childhood identity theft, a real problem in the United States. A study found one million American children were victims of identity theft in 2017. The number one reason? child identity theft goes unnoticed for a very long time, sometimes years. The cleverness and ingenuity of these ID th thieves and just the common criminals uh, is just unbelievable. And they just get better and better at obtaining our information and then misusing that information and usually we're reacting to it. Uh, and I think we need to be more Proactive. That's Peril Grossman, the Assistant Attorney General of North Dakota. He says a big reason identity thieves are drawn to kids is the fact that they have a clear credit history. A child's social security number has not been used for financial purposes, and this is even more valued by hackers. So how do we as parents know our child's identity is safe? There are no absolute guarantees against identity theft, but a credit freeze is probably the closest any of us could come to protecting ourselves or our minor children from identity theft. There are three major credit reporting agencies, and they include Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Now, Grossman urges consumers to check with all three agencies, and if you discover that a credit file or credit report exists for your child, and you personally did not list your child as an authorized user on a credit card, that is a red flag. Uh, most children under 18 will not have a credit report. In fact, the three major credit reporting agencies do not uh, report any data for children under 13 years of age. If your child is a victim of identity theft, there are actions you can take to restore their credit, but it can take months to even years, and problems may continue. Grossman says some victims of identity theft have even been re-victimized by no action of their own. We want to make sure they're not going to experience credit problems in the future simply because they were the victim of identity theft. Which is why Pearson takes extra precautions when it comes to protecting her own child. I don't think people take the steps or realize how easy it is to steal a child's picture and even put it as like their own Facebook. And you see and hear like so many people who get their identity stolen through credit card theft and that sort of thing. And for her, she's just a little girl, so I wouldn't want that to happen. And it's a really large pain when it does happen. Now, other signs that your child's identity may have been compromised include receiving notices from the IRS saying that your child did not pay income taxes, they are turned down for government benefits, or you get collection calls or bills for products or services that your child did not receive. And because, because this is such a problem, we want to help you out. You can head on over to our website at kxnet.com where we provide a link to walk you through the steps to protect your child from identity theft and what to do if your child is already a victim. Okay, a number of steps there to consider, but very important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Something that I need that. to heed to. Sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, well,